evening, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for joining us for another exciting evening of PPA basketball. My name is Toby Fresker. And I'm Chuck Wilcox. And what an exciting game we just witnessed between the Wisconsin Dribbling Seamen and the Minnesota Cherry Poppers. Yeah, these two teams have been going at it all season long, like a couple of dead animals rapidly in the wilderness in the middle of heat, being that they're the only two teams in their division going up against one another. And with an exciting score of 101 to 85, it's no surprise that Nikon Merriweather, the rookie out of Boise State, came out and dropped 45 points, Chuck. Yeah, Nikon Merriweather showed up today and said, hey, I'm going to score 45 points. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. You know something, Chuck? I'm receiving word from the studio that we actually have the press conference going on right now. Why don't we go ahead and follow that up? I'm going to go send a text. Victory show is sweet. But before I begin with this interview, I want y'all to take a good look at this globe right here because it symbolizes me taking over the world. Hee <laughs> hee! Now let's begin. First question, you throw right there. Uh, yeah, thank you, Nikon. Uh, Earl Crabtree from the San Diego Post. Uh, your numbers for tonight seem to be a statistical outlier because your numbers were 45 points, zero rebounds, and negative three assists. Uh, can you please explain how that happened since negative three is not even a possible statistic? <laughs> yeah, um, basically uh, the, the 45 points is self-explanatory. I was on fire, and everybody saw that. And then the negative three assists, you know, it's, it's, it's simple. My, my teammates had the ball, and I had to do what I can as the leader at that time coming out of the bench was to take the ball from them because I was on fire. I was making points. And rebounds, come on, player. Come on, player. I don't grab no rebounds. And my teammates grab the rebounds, and they give me the ball, and I shoot, and I score, and that's how it is. You, sir, next question. Hi, Nikon. Dick still hard. Seaman post. I see that you have two watches. What's up with that? Oh yeah. Um. Basically, these watches they 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 symbolize something. The left one is today's time, the time right now that's happening, and the right the right arm is the time it's gonna be because this performance that you saw today it's gonna happen another time and another and another and that's what it is. Next next question. You throw right there with a the headline. You. Uh, yeah, uh, Higgins Mitchum, the net fisherman enthusiast, what mind thoughts were you thinking of during the game? <laughs> Motherfucker, didn't you see what I did? 45 points come out of the bench. 17 games I didn't play, I came out of the bench and I scored 45 points to win this damn game. Didn't you see it? Shut up. Next question, you sir. Uh, yeah, Craig Fussberger, ESPN.com, uh, you were quoted saying that you do shoot with your bitch in the gym. Uh, can you elaborate further on your bitch and uh, why you make her practice with the rest of the cherry poppers? You know, so I actually appreciate that question. I'm glad that you are mentioning it right now because uh, the reasons why I have my bitch in the court because, uh, come on, I mean, all these girls think they can date an NBA superstar, drink their liquor, pop bottles, and do all that crazy shit without having to pay for it. Shit. If you going to be with me, you got to do the time just like my other teammates and I do. And you got to practice. And, and all of that, all my teammates get a little little piece of that action too. You know what I'm saying? So uh, there you go. I answered it. The next question you said. Uh, yeah, I am horny. Ceviche Post. Your game was reminiscent of Jeremy Lin. What do you feel about that? Come on, man. Me, Jeremy Lin, there is no comparison. I'm not Filipino, okay? Next question, you, sir. Yo, Showtime Jenkins, BT. Hey, what's what, up, baby? What up, player? Where you been? I didn't see last week at the barbecue, man. Nah, you know, just, you know, hitting it up with Vivica Fox. You know yeah, how it is. Yeah, no doubt. Hey, question, man. What's up with you and Condoleezza Rice? Oh, man. I didn't get you, man. I, I don't know where you get your sources from, man, but that that's just a rumor, all right? Just a rumor. Come on, man. Come on, child. You, you next question. What's up? Uh, thank you, Merriweather. Uh, Vincent Thornberry from the Liverpool Diary. Um, would you say that tonight's performance is remnant of Shakespeare's performance in his masterpiece Henry VIII at the Bonaparte Theatre in 1870 and Um, If I can recollect and, and think that something was like that, then yeah, I can say so. And so, honestly, you should get the out of here because you're, you're scaring me. Next question, and this will be the last one. Yes, you, ma'am. Uh, hi, hi, Nikon. Um, Christina Saskatchewan, mm. MSNBC. I do, Christina. You look great. Um, how do you feel about government reform? Uh, what? Go government? Yeah, government reform. How do you feel about it? 
All right, this is how I feel. I think that you on the motherfucking wrong damn conference and interview room. So you should get your out of here. Secure tag. Leave your number right there and get the out of here because this, this interview is over. Thank you, everybody. Catch me on Twitter. Yeah, yeah let's go cherry popping. Well, that was certainly an interesting press conference. I think it's safe to say we learned some new things about Merriweather. Wouldn't you agree, Chuck? I'm paid to agree with you. Well, that about wraps it up for another night here with PBA Basketball. My name is Toby Fresker. And I'm Chuck Wilcox. Happy, Happy dribbles. dribbles.